Hi, you may recognize me from vlogging in the Hurricane Ophelia video, my 15 year suit, or the many travel videos that I do. My name is Michael, and in this video, I'm going to bring you around the Trada Arts Festival 2018. Join me now in the Highlands Gallery. This is a gallery found in Lawrence's Street, just two minutes from Lawrence's Gate. The gate is having a beautiful performance right now, and I'll show you that now. Gallery. This is a free gallery that is open all year long and has a wonderful exhibition right now. And this runs from the 2nd of May to the 30th of June. Come and have a look with me. Hospitality is a multi layer team, which is the main team for the Drada Arts Festival this year. And it has deep undertones, which are underlined by historical interpretations of the concept, including Jackie Derrida's philosophical work on the whole ethics of hospitality. In her work, we can see the concept of hospitality containing paradoxes, which are all in relation to how and when we welcome some cultures, societies and migrants in the spirit of hospitality. In a sense, it implies that we will want to reject people. But we need to overcome this fear and see that everybody is whole and one and that we should just welcome them as our own. As you have seen, there are a lot of photographs, a lot of modern stuff, and then quite a bit of abstract work as well. It's really, it's a really amazing exhibition, and it's very powerful. Not a lot of art pieces can do that. It really makes you stop, look at it pieces one by one, and think, think about what it is and what it kind of stirs up in you. It's definitely worth a visit, and yeah, I really recommend hauling this gallery with this exhibition right now. We are now approaching West Street with a tossle and clear sight. This is the next stop for today's journey. John Maloney, Gary McGuire and Patrick Dillon are the presenters of this playful collection of public art interventions found on West Street. And these run from as far back as the tossle to narrow West Street, which is far stretch. Here you can find 64 light sources and 30 to pieces of street furniture constructed in beautiful works of art. And the main purpose of these, or the main theme, is play. It's shown that life doesn't have to be so stressful as it is, and it tries to loosen the tightness of things as they are. It's a great thing to see, and it's completely free. Those light paintings were quite beautiful, especially in the sunlight. Only I recorded a few, but that should have been fine. Now, I'm off to St. Dominic's Park for the afternoon of fun family festivities. Dominix Park is a park found along the Boyne and right beside Rathmullen Road. This park is always open. It has a playground, nice benches, nice footpaths, a skate park, and greens which can be either used for sports or perhaps a picnic. It is really wonderful, but today it's especially wonderful because it is the 5th of May. There's a lot of festivities going on today. Let's have a look. So this festival at St. Dominic's Park is a pretty huge one and it's completely family fun oriented. You start off with Guido Fanzini's Imaginary Entertainment and also have jaw dropping antics of this Italian carry man who will be performing stunts and other acts of amazingness as well as you have a magic comedy show by Mr. H. You can also go to the Imagineering Playground, and this is completely conceived and designed by the architect David Rockwell. It's a lot of foam blocks that can be 
designed in their own way and it's brilliant for children to use their imagination. If that's not enough for you, you can also get free face painting and tote bag printing in the festival. This is a family filled festival that will run from 12.30pm till 5pm on Saturday the 5th of May. There is so much more going on in this festival. There is performances, theatres, different acts, magicians, buskers, etc. But I am going to leave it for now and let you just come to the ride and experience it for yourself. Until next time.